Right, so in today's video, we're going to be working on the Ender 3 V2. We recently installed Clipper. And one thing about uh, switching from standard firmware to Clipper is that you lose access to the, uh, the display. So there's no way to control the printer with the display anymore. Uh, it's all pretty much done using a computer. But there's, a, there's another way. You can either pick up a specialized screen that plugs into a Raspberry Pi that will allow uh, you to control some of the features of Clipper through a touch to screen, or uh, there's a more economical solution. You can use an old cell phone, uh, so just about anything that can get on the web to access the uh, Clipper interface. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna remove the original display and then the mount, and we're gonna design something in on shape. So let's start by removing this. And what I want to do is I picked up this this little uh, magnetic car mount and I want to use this little pad with the magnets uh, as part of the uh, mount. So it includes the little metal parts that you would need to install on your uh, old smartphone. And if you don't have an old smartphone lying around, I did uh, go to Walmart and you can pick up a TL or TCL prepaid phone and uh, they have they have some as low as $30 and they are a smartphone. So this is this is the part that I'm after right here, this little centerpiece. So let's see if we can figure out how to get this thing apart. And I'll put links in the description to all these parts. That way, if you guys want to do the same installation, you can. And this is this is the part that we want right here. So let's jump on the on shape and we'll design a, a part for this but before we do that we got to take some measurements
All right, guys, so there it is all done. Here's the, uh, the phone. And the magnetic mount. If you want to control the printer, you can home it. You can select files. You can run uh, G code from here. So if you want to get to the extra menus, you can just click on these little things here. You got the console. So from here, you can write uh, G code directly into the console. You got the uh, bed mesh so there's the bed mesh you got your G code files and I haven't set up the uh, Cura part yet that shows the pictures but there's a test G code that I put on there and then uh, you got your uh, history of prints And that's it, super cool. So you can pick up one of these uh, cell phones if you don't have a spare one at Walmart. You can just pick up a TCL A3, I believe is the model, and it's like 29 bucks. Uh, it's a smartphone, and it has a 5.5 inch display. If you wanted to spend a little bit more money, you can get one uh, as high up as 6.5 inch display for, I want to say, $59. So still a bargain when compared to the price of uh, getting a dedicated clipper touchscreen, it'll cost you about 40 bucks. Uh, so I think this, this offers more usability. It's completely portable, you can take it with you, and it can control more than one printer. So if you have several printers, all you would have to do is add a, an additional tab for the printer. So in this case, I named the host MK8 Ender 3V2. Uh, but if I go in here, I can connect to my other printer, which was my original main sale uh, OS host name. I can click on that one. And then it loads up my, uh, my other printer. So there it is. Pretty cool. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell. And leave me some comments. I love the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see them. By the way, guys, the G10 is back in stock. Uh, so look for the link in the description on Amazon. If you guys are interested in these, they work great. I have not tested it with polycarbonate, uh, but I will be doing a video testing it with polycarbonate in the future. Uh, as far as nylon, PETG, PLA, ASA, uh, those filaments are all okay, uh, also TPU. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.